What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be doing another stair design. I haven't done one of these in a while. So we're going to be modeling this cool looking circular auditorium, half auditorium, half stair uh, design in Revit. It, it looks amazing and if you want to see more stair tutorials or an auditorium tutorial make sure to check out the links in the description of this video. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I have because I make tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and before I do anything I like to set the units so let me just type in UN and set this to something like yeah, let's do centimeters for this one okay okay and now let's create some floor plans because our or some floors because our stairs need to go from a floor to a floor. So here I'm just going to go to floor and do just a basic rectangular floor like this. Hit finish. And then I'm just going to copy it and paste it to selected levels and paste it to level 2. And if we go into 3D, this is what we have, these two levels. Now I'm just going to go back into level 1 and now let's do a stair. Now this will be modeled as a in-place component or an in-place family, but first we need to get some dimensions for our stairs and for that I'm just going to be using the basic stair tool. So I'm just going to go here to stair, make sure to select a monolithic stair and I'm just going to scroll down a bit to do some settings. Let's set this to 24 steps to get uh, a better riser height, something more comfortable and let's do, here I'm just going to do 32 centimeters just to have kind of a longer, a longer thread and just hit apply and now let's place our stairs. So I'm just going to place it like this in the middle of this floor and once I'm done I'm just going to hit finish and now let's do the circular hole once we have the stair in place. So I'm just going to go to level 2 and go to VR or view range and set it to unlimited and hit apply OK and now let's select this go edit boundary and let's place a circle on top of this so I'm just going to and what you can do you can just place one circle like this and then use move tool to place it on the beginning of the stair and then use the scale tool so just RE for scale and then use just the graphical scale here you can see this is the graphical option and scale this from here to here okay so now we now have a hole that's exactly the size of our stair okay so once we have this now we can go in and model our stair but before we do that we need to have a section that it looks at our stair and for that let's create a section over here kinda like this and just open it up so this is what we have okay so now let's go here to component open up the drop menu and go model in place and let's search down for stair yes stairs okay and here we are so first I like to set a reference plane over here on basically a vertical reference plane where the center of the stair will be so let's just go back to level 1 go reference plane and let's just place one over here and call it stair profile Okay, so once we have that one, now we can go back into our section and let's start modeling. So go to create and create extrusion and for the plane, let's pick by name and choose this stair profile, hit OK. Okay, so now let's start drawing and I'm just going to set this to fine and this to wireframe so I can see the end of the stair here and if I turn the thin lines off, you can see this is the, the end of the circle is over here in this Part. So I'm just going to draw a vertical line over here and a vertical line over here just to have those edges and now let's start creating our stairs. So I'm just going to start from the second stair. This is the auditorium part of our stair. So I'm just going to do something like this. Make sure to trim and extend this and then I can delete this part and make sure that this part goes all the way to the ground and it does. And now you can select this and just copy it. So make sure to check multiple and then just copy it here, here and you just go all the way up so you're doing every second stair and you're just doing this auditorium seating basically so you just go all the way to the top okay so this is what we get 
and to have and the underside of the stair it can either be straight or it can be this zigzag line and in the project I've shown you it has that zigzag line so that's what I'm going to be using so I'm just going to select this go copy and make sure that it's unconstrained and just kind of pull it out a bit kind of like this and place it so now we have this zigzag line and maybe we can go to move or just kind of place it like that yeah I think this works or maybe we can select it and just use the arrow keys to kind of make it look a bit better okay I really like this design and maybe we should move this up a bit delete this line trim and extend over here let's see trim and extend over here okay so we have this auditorium part finished so we just hit finish and let's set the material to some wood material let's type in wood and let's see yeah, we can use this cherry or something like that yeah let's use this one okay so now let's do the individual steps so go to create extrusion uh, pick by name and let's use stair profile again and let's use a rectangle over here so let's kind of place oops rectangle yeah let's place it like this go copy and make sure that multiple is selected and then you can copy from here to over here and do the same thing for all of the individual steps so you kind of go like this all the way up to this part over here okay and does this work yes it does okay so we have these individual steps and again you just hit finish and let's add the same material let's add that cherry wood material and for this extrusion end let's do 100 and for the extrusion start let's do minus 100 so this these stairs will be two meters and if I scroll around a bit yeah and let's do the middle part and let's just extend it all the way out let's go to level 2 so make sure that it encompasses the whole circle and once we have that now we can cut out this uh, the circular part and to do that just go to create void extrusion set the work plane to level 2 or level 1 and let's just use pick lines for this pick this line pick this line go into 3d and just hit finish and now just extend this part all the way down so it cuts through all of the stairs and it and just going to edit extrusion it's not enough to have a circle we need to have something around the circle so it's kind of void in the middle so kind of look, do something like this yeah and as you can see now it will be cutting through our stairs and let's see and if it doesn't cut through the stairs you just go here to cut and you select this stair you select this and you select this stair and you select the the void okay so now as you can see we have this circular stair and let's just do the railing while we're here and to do the railing it's kinda awkward it's uh, going all the way around this uh, around edge and to do that let's go back into our section so we're over here in our section and let's go create and let's do a reference plane and let's start from here and and over here kind of offset it a bit to the level of this here railing that we have and now we're just going to mark the spot where it goes here into the floor and mark the spot where it should begin and you're going to do the same thing that thing with uh, reference planes so again go reference plane place one perhaps over here like this and extend it all the way up and let's do another one over here where the railing will enter the uh, the floor so kind of extend it like this and then just move it up a bit so you, you will see it in a floor plan okay and we just need to name this one so let's just call it rail that's that's enough and let's go into level two for this one and now you just go here to create uh, you go to sweep and then we're going to set the work plane to this rail uh, angled work plane and let's use an arc and you start all the way over here from kind of the bottom let's start from yeah let's start from here maybe like that or maybe move it up a bit yeah I'm just going to start from here okay and before I make a mistake make sure you're in here in sketch path okay now you go arc and you start from here and then I'm just going to finish over here where this work plane is but I'm just going to go a bit in the 
in the floor so it kind of goes inside of the floor and then just finish over here and just go finish go into 3d and now we can set this this here plane so just go uh, to select profile, edit profile, and then let's just use a circular profile, something like this. This is, I can't see the number. Okay, 2.5 centimeters, that's that's fine. And uh, just go here, finish. Okay, and let's set the material, material to some aluminum. So, uh, aluminum, let's see. Okay, this works. Okay, and once we have the, the, this one, and then we can just select it. Or where is it? I can't see it. Okay, select it. Maybe go into level two. Okay, and just mirror it around the center, uh, the center reference plane. So if we go into 3D, we have this. So it looks like it's going directly into the floor, which looks nice. But we just need to do, do something here for the beginning. And for that, go into level one. And if you can't see it, uh, just type in VR and change this to something like 150 and hit apply okay and now you can see it so now you can go create extrusion set work plane to level one go okay and just do kind of a circular circular extrusion and maybe turn on 10 lines to see it better yeah this works kind of like that and then just mirror it around the middle axis and hit finish go into 3d and extend this all the way up kind of like that yeah okay so this works just and make sure that this is aluminum as well we don't want to mess that up okay and just hit finish and now we can select the the stair and delete it we don't need it anymore so here we have our cool circular stair slash auditorium in Revit and let's create a rendering that's of course the best part so let's create a camera view kind of like this yeah that looks really nice and let's just maybe extend it a bit kind of like this and hit the double R for render let's go to medium and let's see what we get okay and now we can just go to adjust exposure and maybe make it a bit brighter not too bright okay that's too bright okay yeah it looks cool and it's got this nice kind of glossy material of course you can change that if you want but anyway you get the point Okay, so that's how you create this cool looking circular stair slash auditorium in Revit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video, and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.